Hi, my name is Liz Leslie and I am from Towson United Methodist Church and I am so excited to have all of you here with me this Sunday morning. Today I'm going to share a story with you from the book of Joshua and it's a story about being faithful as a community. But before we get started, let's start off with a little prayer. Dear Lord, you are an amazing God and I want to thank you for giving me the privilege to be able to share one of your stories with these amazing children today. I pray, Lord, that my words will serve to glorify you. Amen. So, before we get started, a little bit of background. So prior to this story, the Israelites had been wandering around for 40 years, waiting to get to the Promised Land. And now they had finally reached their destination. But their leader, Moses, has died. But God gives them a new leader, and his name is Joshua. And Joshua used to be Moses' aide. Joshua is very scared because this is a big job he has ahead of him, leading everyone into this new promised land. So here is where our story begins. It's Joshua verses one, uh, chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. It's called a new leader. So after Moses died, the Lord said to Joshua, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then you and all these people must get ready to cross the Jordan River into the Promised Land. He then goes on to explain the exact location and tells him that, I will give you every place you set your foot as promised to Moses. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I have promised. He goes on to remind Joshua to obey all the laws that were given to Joshua by Moses, to study them and teach them, no matter what, as they will help bring prosperity and success. God concludes with a final reminder. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. The Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So in this story, there are lots of changes not only for Joshua, but for the Israelites. Just as they're entering a whole new land, they're also getting a new leader. So much change can be so hard, and it can definitely be pretty scary. I bet there's been times in your life when there's been big changes that have been pretty scary for you. Um, just this year, we had a change in the way we were all learning. We had to start learning over the computer, and we were staying home more. We weren't able to see our friends as much as we used to. And that can all be pretty scary stuff. But this story reminds us that God is calling us to be faithful and to know that when we are scared of change, all we need to do is call on him. We can pray and he'll be with us, giving us strength and comfort. God is always with us. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I pray that our children would know that you are always with them. I pray that they will know that they can turn to you and that you will help give them strength and comfort in times of change when they may be scared. I pray, Lord, you will be with these children throughout the week, that you will guide them and protect them. It is in your name I pray, Lord. Amen. Thanks so much for being with me this morning. I hope you have a wonderful week. Goodbye.